Okay, let's head over to the Beko kitchen. We've got a Thai roast duck red curry for us, Mark. That's right, yeah, we're doing Thai today. We've got a red curry and we've got this beautiful duck leg as well, which we're gonna roast. So we need to roast that first, then we pick it down, put it through the uh, curry, and we've got some noodles and texture and herbs and spices. And so has that duck leg got the thigh attached to yes. it? So you'd call that a Thai thigh once we've finished with it. <laughs> What else oh, is in the was, recipe? That was a brutal. <laughs> well, so we got, you know, we've got all the usual suspects. We've got fish sauce, we've got a little bit of turmeric as well, yep. just to like give it a little bit of an edge. A nice, beautiful uh, red curry paste. Um, some five spice as well, which we're going to get some flavour into the duck. Um, coriander, bean sprouts, noodles, coconut milk as well. Beautiful. Okay. It is already starting to smell. I can smell things wafting all that off that already. I'm very much looking forward to helping you put this all together. It is my last day in the Beko kitchen for a wee while, Mark, and I think you may just have saved the best for last. Well, I reckon we have a duck curry. We've had some arguments about this. <laughs> You say duck, I say duck. No, no, it's Queen's English, duck. <laughs> duck. Okay, what are we going to do? <laughs> right, so we've got uh, the duck leg. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, really easy to cook. You know, it takes a little bit of time to cook, more yep. than chicken. But I'm just going to give it a light seasoning with some salt. You can put a little bit of pepper on there as well. Do you have a tip for cooking it? Because every time I've tried it, it's as dry as an old boot. Oh, she'll show you. Perfect. Five spice, okay? Ooh. Both sides. You know, and you can see there's a lot of fat on the duck. Yep. Sounds and what we're like going to do, <laughs> what we're going to do, pop it on a tray, bit of greaseproof paper, straight on, fat side up, yep. and then you're going to chuck that in the oven. About 190 degrees for about an hour and a quarter, hour yep. and a half, and it will just roast. You don't need any extra oil on there because you've got all that fat. The fat's going to render down, the skin's going to get nice and crispy, and it's just going to slowly cook all that duck meat. Love it. Can I throw that in the big oven? You can oven? throw that in the and oven. What else have we got to do? Right, and then now, now we're going to get our uh, curry sauce on there. And you can actually, there's a tray in there which I cooked some earlier, so you can bring that I out can bring, and have a look at that. Funny that. Oh, that smells really good. Look at that. So once it once it's cooked, if you're not ready, just put some foil over it, and then you can take the foil off and go. Da -da -da -da. Oh. Look oh, at that. Look, looks like they've had a week in Spain. <laughs> Yeah, so nice and brown. It, well, it was it was crispy, but that's fine because we're going to shred it. So that's all uh, good right, to go. That's done. Right. So we're going to start making our sauce now. So I'm going to pop a little bit of oil in there, and then our curry paste. Actually, I've got you a spoon today. Thank <laughs> I got you. organised on your God, last day. It's beginning to wonder. I couldn't work in these conditions. <laughs> I know. I know. You so this is just going right in here. Yep. So we get the oil, and we want to fry that. So it's, you know, it's got all the shallots in there. Your garlic, your ginger, your herbs, your spices. Everything's already in there. I mean, you know, if you're a dab hand in the uh, kitchen, you can make that yourself. You know, yep. you can crush it all down. It's really good. Um, if you want to speed up the whole process, you know, go to the supermarket. There's, there's an array of uh, different spices uh, or curry pastes out there. So it's all so hard work's already done. Shallots and shallots of ingredients in there. Exactly. Oh, that's burning my eyes. <laughs> I, this is becoming a problem. Because I get so far in there with my sticky beak. I'm going, hello, what's going Oh, yep, there it is. Okay, so we're frying that off. I so guess bringing yeah, out the flavour. Yeah, so we're going to bring out the flavour. We're cooking all those ingredients. And uh, we've got the coconut milk here. And if you carefully open it in the can, yep. you know, on the top, you can scoop off like the, the fat part of the coconut, you know, the cream. And a couple of spoons of that when you're frying this paste off, just going to help it all come together and, and help right. fry, you know, using that sort of fat in the coconut milk. Okay. So, nice sort of medium heat, and we want to do that for about three, four minutes. Okay, right. so really bring out those flavours. It's a really simple sauce to do. There's not much more to, to do on the sauce, but right. you just really need to, you know, do it in stages, bring out all the flavours yeah. and maximise that, that flavour. It's like a long time to be frying this off. Well, just don't burn it. Uh, just don't burn it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah you right. know, always stir it, control that heat as well. And then what we're going to do with the um, with the duck legs, you know, if you wanted to, you could serve them, you know, whole like that if you yep. wanted. Uh, but what's quite good, because it's all um, tender, you know, oh. you just pull in that sort of bone off and you've got these beautiful sort of, you know, pieces of uh, duck meat there. Daffy never looked so delicious in the yeah, cartoons. You can take the skin off if you want, you know, if you don't want to have that extra fat, but I, I mean the skin's want, probably the in, uh, yeah, one of the best bits there, especially when it's nice and crispy. Um, you know, so the duck's all ready to go, so we're just going to pop that through once we've right. made the sauce last minute and it's and it's all good to go. I've got some water on here, I'm going to pop some noodles on 
and uh, and then we'll come back and we'll finish the sauce. And it's Lovely. Really Looking easy. forward to, to finding out how we finish this off and getting those next steps for the Thai duck curry. Right. So the uh, the curry paste has been uh, roasting for about four or five minutes mm -hmm. now. You can see it sort of turned it turned darker. You know, you got all those uh, aromas and smells, and you know, the, even that spice is coming out because the studio's there uh, coughing around us. <laughs> you know, it's going to be full of flavour if that happens. I'll stop putting it on now. Um, <laughs> right, now we've got a little bit of chicken stock. So now we can add, start adding the liquids in. So just a little bit of time and then just really sort of break that paste into it and let it all dissolve. Now you can uh, whack the heat up and we're, we're just making the sauce. Lovely. Okay. So I've got, I've got some more duck now, so I'm just going to just finish pr uh, picking all that off. So just be careful as well, because obviously you've got two big bones in there. You've got the thigh bone mm -hmm. and the leg bone, and then there's always a little bone which is that. Is the process of roasting it beforehand... Don't want to eat. Uh, oh no, you no, definitely no, no. don't want that going down your gizzard. Um, the process of roasting it for flavour, you know, rather than say poaching it or doing it in the sauce or whatever. Yeah, yeah, you are going to get a, you're going to get a really good flavour from this, mm -hmm. you know, because you know all that sort of fat and the crispy skin and the and the and the roasting. All you know, you will words. Get different flavor. Fat, well, you know, crispy skin, roasting. Three words I just <laughs> adore. Exactly. You know, I mean, you could poach it if you want, if you wanted to go for the more yep. healthier option. Okay, so this is I feel the temperature's just gone up on that. It was going to start to boil. So you've put right now some coconut milk in there. Yep. Mm. And. A little bit of uh, turmeric as well, which is going to put in just a little It's going to do some bit. amazing things to the colour, I imagine. Yeah, it's going to bring out the colour. You've got the creaminess of the coconut milk in there. Oh. And then bring it up to the boil. We're just going to take it down so it sort of thickens a little bit. You know, right. it doesn't need a lot of cooking. And then we've got some fish sauce, you know, that classic sort of seasoning, that salty seasoning, yep. uh, just to season this up. Uh, lime juice as well for that sour, really lift up the uh, uh, flavour and make it zesty. Uh, last minute, obviously, you're going to put the duck through it. It's already warm, it's already picked, so just to coat it. Mm. Uh, noodles I'm going to put in now, so just some egg noodles. You know, you could serve rice with it if you wanted. And then I've got some fresh coriander, some bean sprouts, and that's just going to go in very last minute, or even just in the bowl and you pour it over the top and some shallots as well, which we're just going to slice and serve raw. What are we looking for with this sauce? You know, you, it's obviously gone in there and uh, you want it to thicken up. Is there a point where you go, yeah, that's done? I mean, I think I can feel that starting to sort of do its thing already. Yeah, you, you can see it's sort, of, it's sort of got that consistency now. I mean, it goes back to how you want to eat it. Mm. You know, if you want it a little bit lighter and more, more soupy because you've got the noodles, you know, you could sort of leave it like that. But always taste it because the, the more you reduce it and bring it down and thickens up, the mm. more flavour you're going to get into it. But I would take that down, you know, even five minutes simmering will just thicken that slightly. Would it be out of the question to pop a wee spoon in? <laughs> uh, if I could find a spoon. Don't yeah. ask, don't get it. I'm just doing it on behalf of people who are going, oh, that looks really good. And, and that's a really good idea as well, you know. Try it now, taste, you go, taste yeah. it, and then try it again in five minutes and then just see the, see the difference, you know. Oh, I will try it again in five minutes if you don't mind. Oh, How is it? Got a kick. Has it's it certainly got a kick. <laughs> I didn't mention that the I do, oh, it's there. It is present. Good mouth feel, um, but mm, that lime will just really pop itself through there and help things along. Um, it's a no, bit it's too good. spicy. Pinch of sugar as well, and that'll just help balance it. Yeah, out. we might do that. We might do that. <laughs> Now, if you'd like to make this for yourself at home, the full recipe plus the ingredients list is on our website. How cool are these body surfing suits? So cool. It's like a Zorb, but you're not contained. I reckon even I could manage that one. How about you, Mark? Do you reckon you could do that? Oh, I reckon you'd drown doing that. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't right. do that. I wouldn't be caught dead doing that. <laughs> oh, I'd have a go. Yeah, I would. <laughs> Where's the, where's the one okay. thing once? <laughs> oh yeah, the right. curry. <laughs> That's the curry. Yum, it smells really good. What's on the menu tomorrow? Right, tomorrow on the menu I've got a tuna burger.